Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali A. Thank you so much for joining me back again for some more Ali A adventure. It's a lovely sunny day. It is actually quite a nice sunny day. And <gasps> the Flappy Bird is there. <laughs> it actually looks pretty damn awesome. Last episode we went and made this awesome Flappy Bird um, sort of pixel art statue. If you guys missed that, check out the playlist down below for all the Ali A adventure videos. I don't want you guys to miss out on any of that. Doggies, why are you standing up? I do not know. Sit. You're sitting. Good doggy. Any of you're sitting. Good doggy. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun to build. Actually, the image that I used to make it was actually the other way around. So it looked a little bit confusing, but it looks freaking awesome. So now you've got the big flappy bird. And um, we've also got over here the awesome Pokeball. I actually absolutely love making the different statues. I think they're absolutely awesome. The dog's doing a great job at looking out and make sure everything's fine and dandy. Um, I do have a fish. You know what? You know what? These animals, I don't even know what to do. This farm is just, this farm's out of control. <laughs> what have I done? We've got a stray pig. I didn't even say go there. They're getting arrogant. They think they run the place. What are you doing? How did you escape? There's just animals absolutely everywhere. Um, but I have also started off building, finally, the melon farm that I've been trying to, trying to, um, uh, Trying to uh, get for all many many episodes now and we finally did it took a while But the uh, melons are finally in place and if we go outside we can see the kind of basis of a melon farm. I have no wait what So okay, let me just check the layout of this melon farm Okay, it's fairly interesting. So I want to expand the melon farm and actually expand the farm uh, Overall so we're gonna be doing a little bit of farming wait what? Okay, melons gone over here. Do I just break it in my fists? Hey, lots of melons. Wow, seven melons per... It cost us a lot of emeralds, so it was fairly expensive in that sense, but it was definitely worth it. Alright, so what we're going to do... Hmm. What we're going to do is expand this melon farm. Um. Okay, so let's, let's just go ahead and pick up all of the... All of the carrots. Gimme all of them carrots. Uh, I don't have any more. Okay, awesome, we do. Uh, so I'm going to put all of your carrots back because at the moment we don't quite need them. Uh, I'm going to leave them in there. And then what I think I'm going to do, assuming I've got a shovel, which I do, is start to relocate this. So what I'm going to do is get rid of that. It's now just an open swimming pool. No, it's not. Alright, cool. So we're going to grab all these blocks and we're going to make this into a far more efficient farm. Um, so I'm going to put this here and this can stay as like a... stay as one of the farm beds that we're going to be having. There we go. Um, and then we're going to expand this one so it's four wide. And I think what I may do is actually add stone around the edge like, like this. But I'm not too sure how much of that stone I have. I may have quite a lot. I do actually have quite a lot. Let's do it. 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 That'd be a perfect way of uh, replacing. I'm not sure what happens though. Like, I think... Let's see. I think it'd look quite cool if I had stone around the edge. Yeah, yeah. That looks cool. Only issue I've got now is the fact that... When I need to replace, like, these blocks... The water's going to flow through. So I think what I'm going to have to do is actually fill up this... And then, there we go, we'll get rid of it that way. Sweet, sweet, sweet. This will lead to a more efficient farm. I still remember when I first started Minecraft, and the idea of getting really hungry and potentially starving to death was not a very nice idea. And it worried me greatly. But we've gotten way past that now. To a point where we're in a, we're in a great situation. We've gotten this awesome farm. Yeah, this looks a lot better now. And I think... We could expand this a little bit, arguably, but I'm just going to keep it as it is for the moment, size-wise. Actually, this actually started off, for all of you guys that started with me, this actually started off as just a random, um, what was it? I guess it's like a random just lake. It wasn't even a lake. It was just like a bit of water outside my house. And I was like, you know what? We can use this water to turn it into a farm. So we did. Cat, get out there. What are you doing? Get out. Don't drown. Seriously? Cat, I'm trying to save you. Do you want to drown? Do you want to drown? No, you don't. Get out. There we go. You okay? <laughs> You're inside a block. Doesn't seem safe. Okay, I pushed you out. He's inside another block. Oh, whew. Whew. Thought the cat was going to die there. All right. 
as it gets dark, we're going to go to sleep and uh, start off a new day. The cat's coming with us. Fine, cat. You can come You can come with us. You can come to bed with us. It's fine. We need a companion to sleep with us. Nice little kitty cat. Why not? And it's time to back go back on the farm. Multicolored sheep, which aren't quite as multicolored as they started off to be because I decided that uh, white sheep are more efficient. But I can now get rid of this, which is awesome. Um, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Technically, this, this sort of the mapping of this this uh, farm is very inefficient. But you know what, guys? It doesn't matter because it's my farm and I love it. <laughs> I would never want any other farm. Okay, let's drop off that and then we'll start putting these here. Oh yes, jeez, how can I forget? I am terribly sorry. All right, guys. Before I even go any further, so um, within I think two episodes ago or even one episode ago, I think it's two episodes ago. We talked about the Alley Minecraft server, which is awesome. It's in action. It's not in action yet, but it's being built. Things are progressing, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to keep you guys updated. Last time I had a little video clip to show you guys, which is like a cinematic um, of a certain part of a server, a survival part of a server. But I've got something new to show you guys. So the guys that are building the server have created a spawn, which is basically where you enter the server and when you go, it's sort of like the main hub. And from there, you'll go to all the different places. So factions, mini games, survival, all the different parts. This is going to be like a core um, spawn. And they've made two of them. Two fantastic um, spawns. I've looked at both of them. Both are amazing. But we want your input on the matter. So within the description will be a link to a video on their channel. You can go over there, subscribe. Those are the guys that are making the spawn for my and uh, for my um, server and lots of other builds within the server. And they've made two spawns. You can go and watch them, have a look at both of them, and then vote for which one you really, really like. So go and do that. Go and show the video some support. Again, there were loads of Ali A Army comments on the last video for my server. So that was awesome, guys. Definitely go and check that out. Just wanted to stop there because that's quite an important thing. And I really want you guys involved with that. Because if you guys think one of the spawns looks better, then that's fantastic. And it will just basically shape how the um, server will look once it's all been put together, which is absolutely awesome. And... The, the builders have done a great job, so shout out to the builders. Um, both of the spawns honestly look fantastic. But go and have a look and decide for which one you think looks even more awesome. Um, and yeah, definitely want to get you guys involved. Server isn't playable on at the moment, but once we get towards that stage, I will of course update you. Cat, stop meowing. Seriously, bro. All right, get out the hole. We're going to hold some land. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're going to hoe this, and this is then going to be... Um, I guess carrots. And I'm kind of feeling wheat, to be honest. And we do have a ton of seeds, so I'm going to go with seeds. I know we don't have any carrots at the moment, but we don't really need any carrots. The carrots are only for pigs, pretty much, so let's go and put that. Hey, chicken, you can have that. Uh, any other chickens that are wild and free? No, I can't bother to feed them. <laughs> There's too many of them. They escape too often. I don't trust them. Dogs looking after. I don't know why they, like, go on to... What he could seriously escape. <laughs> I don't know why they go on to there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is expand this as well. Oh, gosh. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to expand this so it's four wide. I'm going to have to break some of the melons as well. So it's going to go like this. Awesome. And now uh, what we have... Cat, seriously. I'm going to have to push you out of the way again. So now we have is four wide. Now I'm going to do... Actually, those ones are fine. Those ones are fine. What I'm going to do... I think I must have some melon seeds somewhere. Okay, I've got some melon seeds. I'm going to turn them all into melon seeds. And then... Actually, we're not even finished. Actually, we need, like, a load along here as well. Okay, that's cool. So what I also need to do... Um, this is actually going to break, I think, the ground a little bit. But I'm going to pick up all of that as well. I'm going to jump on... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I was going to jump on. We're going to get rid of this, 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 and this. Is that going to drop me in? Almost drops me in. I'm going to pick up all of this, and then um, I'm going to grab some more dirt. And this is going to be four wide, which means we can have a load of melons. Because melons are cool, and I like my melons. We're battling against the waves. Ugh, we've done it. Okay, cool. And then I can go and... Actually, wait. Is it... Okay, it's not quite right. Okay. Cat, seriously. <gasps> Where'd the water go? What the heck? We lost the water. <laughs> Why you all this to me? All right, we're going to have to grab ourselves some more... Another bucket. There must be a bucket in here. Is there a bucket in here? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bucket in here. Um, okay, there's not. Fail, but we can always just make ourselves one. 
Uh, although we do have quite a lot, so you know what? I'm not going to make one. And then I've also got another technique which will make it a little bit easier when actually go and collect all of the fruit. I'm pretty sure there's a bucket of here and it probably... Huh? Bucket? Okay. The bucket of water must be outside. I'm sure there's a bucket out here. <laughs> Why did I just hold that piece of ground? <laughs> I'm going to jump on it. There we go, it's back to normal. Um, okay, so here we go, here's a water bucket. I think I mean, I'm going to take all three. Because you can never trust the walker bucket. Walker buttocks. Water buckets? There we go. Couldn't even say the word for a second. Alright, so if I put the water on this end. And then put the water on this end. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure. Then put the water in the middle. Wow. Still, still isn't perfect. Alright, guys, we need more water. And we need more water now. Don't escape from me. But I think the cat boy will escape from me anyway, regardless. There we go. Come on, cat. We've got water buckets to place. Flappy Bird is awesome. All hell, Flappy Bird. <laughs> the best Flappy Bird there ever was. Now, even that water, I don't think, is balanced. Okay, that was a waste of water. Pretty sure it was balanced. <laughs> there, if we put that in the water, and then we put that in the water, it's almost balanced. There is a little bit of sort of, you know, it's not perfect, but it shouldn't matter too much. I think it should be fine. Um, now, I think that's fine. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Okay, so now we're good. Now what I need to do is actually get rid of a lot of, so for example, I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of that. Give me them melons, baby. My beautiful melons. Melons only for me, not for you. Sweet. And we'll go and actually use the melons to make a potion. Do not fear, friends. Do not fear. Okay, cool. So, um, do I have to re -ho this? Yeah, apparently so. So, the way that the melons grow is that they actually go up and then out to a point next to them. So what I'm going to do is place two along in the middle like this. And then, is that perfect? Is that just enough? Almost. Uh, where do the melons go? Here we go. I'm blind. Help me. Actually, going to need one more. So what I'm going to do is have all of the melons down the middle two rows. And um, what's going to happen is, once these grow, they'll be forced to grow outwards and then to there. I th they look kind of dark. Okay, it's just the sunlight. Um, and then we're going to have a row of melons, I believe, along the outside, which should be perfect. I believe the water's close enough to it to be uh, good. So now it's just a case of basically leaving it. And uh, yeah, it's letting it do its thing. Then we should have a load of melons, which is absolutely awesome. We've got nice little um, stone around the edges now, which means it looks a lot better. I'm going to admit, this pathway here is kind of <laughs> dead, <laughs> to say the least, because it's just a load of... Um, this stuff, dirt, but whatever. We'll leave that as it is. Um, and then we should have a load of melons when you come back. Is that all grown already? It's a quick melon grow, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so that is good. That is real good. I have not even done the third floor of my house, have I? Okay. You know what? Let's go and make some potions. I think I should have everything. Bottles. Everything will be over there. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Awesome. All right, guys. For those of you guys who haven't visited my uh, beautiful potion area in a long time, then come with me, Flappy Bird. You look over the house, all right? You are the guardian of the house. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of you guys have also been tweeting me images of you guys making lots of sort of pixely art stuff. So pixel art is basically um, sort of classic games like Mario, Flappy Bird's pixely, uh, where you can just use small amount of pixels to create very cool characters so the classic mario if you saw my mario and donkey kong video uh the gameplay sh clip i showed at the beginning was classic mario um pokeballs like really cool uh pixely things and i'm going to be making hopefully an alley logo but a lot of you guys have tweeted me your own own stuff that you've made which is awesome to see um okay i'm going to try this i'm going to try and use this as a way of getting up to my okay it should work Gonna make sure. I'm going to poke myself out a little bit. Cat, I love you. Okay, so apparently I'm not in the water. Oh, oh, we're going up, boys. It's a little bit glitchy, but we're going up. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, buddy. Awesome way to get up to the top of the house. And the cat's already here because he's better for everyone. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be making some more potions. We should have everything that we need in here. Um... 
I think we do. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, why did I need the... Oh, yeah, I need the, the blaze rods to make the... Um, this stuff, didn't I? Alright, so let's go up to this. Wait, what? Why can't I use it? Let's fill up the let's fill out the bowls. Um uh, I don't have enough space to fill up all the bottles. Please take something off my hands that I do not need. You can take this one gold nugget. Alright, so let's go and fill up the bottles. There we go. Now hopefully you should let us use it now. What the heck? Am I just being an idiot? Oh no. There we go. Okay, maybe I think I have to be on the same level as it. And because it's sort of like at this weird level, it wasn't quite working out. Okay, so then what I do is place the old weather naught in the top. Weather naught, whatever you call it. Uh, it is ne oh, nether weather. <laughs> um, and that should go to work. I've already got two splash potions. Of po uh, you know, I'm probably going to put them in there just because I don't really use them too much. When I did my traveling, I should have used them. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's my bad, guys. Um, I'm also going to make the potion finally using the melon and the glowstone I believe increases its let's have a look because okay, so I think the glowstone increases its power and the redstone increases its durability um, so I'm going to have a quick look online um, and check how it would affect a glistening melon potion um, because I want to make sure... Just, I don't have too many of the glowstones, so... I want to see that I'm doing the right thing, if you know what I mean. There's, like, loads of, like, images that explain how all the potions work. Okay, here we go. Um, so if I have a look... These images are small. Give me a big image. I need a big one for my eyes can see. Uh, okay, so if I put... Oh, man, my eyes are too small. <laughs> Guys, I need glasses. I'm getting old. No, I'm kidding. I don't need glasses, thank goodness. A lot of my family members do wear glasses, which is not a good sign. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We'll just do it. Like, we don't even need. We don't even need support. There we go. In goes the glistening mallet. <gasps> Kitty cat, are you ready? Don't get too excited. If you fall off, seriously, if you fall off, you are gonna die. And I can't be held responsible for that. I cannot be held responsible. Oh, why don't we plant some more of these? Don't know why we didn't do that last time. Probably because we'd run out of. Um, I don't know actually. Why didn't we do that? Plant, 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 plant. Awesome. Uh, let's go and fill in the back row as well. This is such a risky place for me to be. I could easily die here. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that because I can't access it. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going to plant it here anyway, and we'll have a double. We'll have a double growing sesh. I'll just have to expand the back when I come. Okay. Plop. Melons? We should probably put the melons in there. Um, then any other gold nuggets we find, just so I can access them at any point. Have they been ready? Awesome! Look at that! Instant health, baby. But they have to be drunk, which means they take a little bit of time. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use the glowstone. Um, just because I feel the glowstone's a better one. Do I have any gunpowder? I can have a gunpowder, and then what I'm going to... I think this is the best way of doing it. It used to be like the ultimate healing potions. So if I ever go up against anything that's big and scary, I can take it down pretty damn quick, boy. Pretty damn quick. How long does it take to actually do the, the, the process? Okay, not very long at all. Right, so see, see how this affected it. Instant health 2, so it must be extra powerful. And if I put in a piece of gunpowder, it would, rather than having to drink it, what I can do is I can just throw it on the floor and it will instantly give me a load of health, which is really, really useful if I'm in a, a struggling situation. I just want to use it straight away. It means I don't have to sit there and actually drink it, which is really, really useful. And the old cauldrons, which will probably never be used. Because they're pretty damn... <gasps> That's so sick, dude. Look at that. That is so sick. He's like, come near me, mobs, and I will eat you. For I am the king of Flappy Bird. What the heck? The spider just disappeared. They're not... Okay, they are moving. You know what? We're going to go down there and do a little bit of slaying to get some XP. Definitely going to be down to doing a little bit of slaying. <gasps> there's, my, there's my little castle thing. Awesome. I need to expand that. There's so many areas I've started building up and I just I forget about them. Alright, so we should have some epic, epic potions. What I want to be careful of is actually throwing it. So I'm going to keep one on me um, because I don't want to show it in action um, just for the sake of showing it. It's kind of an expensive potion, I guess, but 
Whatever, we're down. All right, kitty cat, we're going down, boy. I think we're done here. We have finally, oh gosh. We've finally done the deed. And the deed has been done, baby. All right, cool. So now it's time to take on any evil mobs that may want to be evil. <laughs> it's time for them to not be evil. Oh yeah, also, I'm gonna run away for a second. Also, I got um, projectile protection and thorns. So I'm gonna try this. If I just walk into him, I think I should do some damage. Yeah, there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm all powerful. I am all powerful. Stay back, fiends. Hit me and you shall regret it. There we go, buddy. Cat. Oh, yeah, the cat was scaring away the creep like an absolute boss. So, dude, we are... We are godlike. <laughs> this diamond art... Oh, gosh. My, my chest plate does not last for long. But this is where the um, anvil does make up for its uses. So, a chest plate takes, what, three, what, eight pieces of diamond to make, which is very expensive, but I can recover it with just one piece of diamond um, using the old uh, anvil. So, that's where the anvil really comes into its own and definitely where I'm going to start using start using the anvil a little bit more because the arm is probably the best stuff you can get, really. Not the best stuff you can get, but, like, really, really useful stuff. Okay. I actually kind of want to destroy these guys just to get the uh, gunpowder. Yeah, getting, getting myself some gunpowder. Uh, do I have my bow on me? I never really have my bow on me. Okay, flames. That's probably one of the use most useless enchantments. I think it was level 30 enchantment as well. So, kind of useless, but whatever. Die fiend. There we go. You're one hit. I know what? Wow, my bow is so rubbish. Right, give me some XP, baby. Give me some XP, baby. Hopefully this isn't too dark. I think it may actually be a little bit dark, so I'll head back. I've got my brightness on 10,000%, friends, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do. I wish you could get knockback protection, because look how annoying this dude is. Stop it. Jeez, man. So annoying. Chicken, this is a brawl between men, not between kids. Oh, my gosh. This is perfect time to use my splash potion. I purposely been letting my health go down, by the way. Um, just so I can show this off in a second. Oh my gosh, it's a protected one. All right. Okay, I can't even sprint now because I've got such low hunger. There we go, I'm going to take some of this. All right, so if I whip out the old... I'm not sure how much health this will give me, but... Okay, that's a decent amount. So if you have two or three of them, you can pretty much get back up to full health. Oh gosh, in no time at all. I thought I heard that creeper. Hey, sees the cat and runs off. What's it like being scared off, eh, buddy boy? Not very nice, huh? All right, we're almost level seven. We are level seven. I think it's time to head back, my friend. We're going to take the shorter route. Come on, kitty cat. It's time to go home, boy. It's time to go home. Do I have my fishing rod on me? No, I don't. All right. Oh, it's some XP floating in the water. Why oh, can't I go forward? Oh, he's got that say. Give me some of that XP. This screen's going to be pretty much black for you guys. No, apologize. I'm just picking up some XP for those you guys that can't quite see. Dude, go away. Okay, you're hitting me closer to my destination, actually. I'm, I'm digging that. All right, cat. Dude, I think the cat may have died. No jokes. No, he hasn't. Cat, run. Run for your life. We are being swarmed because they know we're all powerful. They sense our strength. <laughs> They're coming in numbers. That's right, kitty cat. You keyed up with me. Peter the kitty cat. All right, we are making it back home, baby. Thank you very much. Look, he actually looks happy. He actually looks happy. Oh, an enchanted bow. I'll take that. Did I get the enchanted bow? Uh, no. I don't think I did. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I wanted that enchanted bow, but nothing's happened. Nothing worked. Is it sunk? Okay, the moon's going down. Well, wow, I've been working throughout the night. Jeez. Jeez. Time is flying by, friends. Time is flying by. We have locked ourselves away. The sun's coming up. The cat's doing awesome. All right, so let's go and actually put this to the test. I fear it's still going to be, I fear it's still going to be kind of useless, but I want to, I want to test it. So, let's say, let's say I wanted to heal my, uh, armor plate. I put it on there. Okay. Okay, I dig that. That's when the anvil's useless. Oh, uh, useless? <laughs> Useful. Sorry, I, I, I'll, I'll take that. That's really, really good. So, I can go and use that right now. It will cost a little bit of my experience, but I literally had seven levels left. So that's a perfect way of then putting my putting my chest back up to full. I pretty much never have to make a chest again, but I can also enchant books and then put the enchantments onto things. Like, it gets confusing and crazy, so I definitely need to do that in the near, well, pardon me, near future as well. 
So we made ourselves an awesome potion. I've showed you guys it in action. Listen. Has that got a block in its head? Oh god. It's getting angry. Okay, I frightened it off. <laughs> Those things are scary. I don't like them one bit, boy. I don't like them one bit. Okay, you know what? Since we've got so many bones, which we collected for my little adventure, let's go and use these bones. Oh! A melon literally just was made right in front of my eyes. It was a beautiful moment. I'm going to put all these at one stage so they all start growing at a similar time, at least. Okay, there we go. A lot of them has been used up. We got our melons good in action, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Have I got any more eggs? Oh, 11 eggs? Jeez, you chickens are just a mad species. Stay here. There we go. Absolutely crazy beasts. All right, I have got way too many eggs. Oh, gosh. Okay. Quick fire egg time. Oh, gosh. Hey! Hey! Look how many new chickens we've got! Absolute low- <gasps> Swear I closed it, dude! These chickens are literally the sneakiest buggers I've ever met in my life. There we go. Right, you guys- I guess we'll just have to live with the rest of them. Swear- Swear out of all the ch little chickens I got, all of them- Most of them have literally come out. They're literally sneaky little buggers, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so we've actually finished. That looks a lot better this, with this uh, stone around it. If you guys have any suggestions for the third floor of my house, for the entrance here, and then also the front bit just through the doors there, definitely let me know. Because I definitely want. I think I want to do some more building. I really enjoyed making the Flappy Birds. This is going to finish it off for the episode. We have made ourselves some... Oh. I'm so hurt. There's arrows inside my body. But hopefully you guys really enjoyed the episode. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're checking out the video down below to see which spawns you prefer for the Alley A Minecraft server. They're going to be absolutely awesome. Hope you guys really enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun recording for you guys. And I'll catch you on the next video.